I heard that somebody was screaming from the upper waterfall for help. Uh, so that's where I jumped right into the water and I managed to find him. So when I was giving CPR during the whole time, my heart just banging, crying to God and don't let this happen. Kevin and Adele, as cell leaders, they are very down to earth. Both of them have very big heart to grow the young adults. Attending our cell, Jars of Clay, during that time was really fun. Uh, because Kevin Adele was the type that organises a lot of trips and especially camping trips so not just doing the four W's during cell and that's it. Kevin is a big person. Big not in the sense of size but big in the sense of his heart. If you walk in the room and you didn't know him, within five minutes you will be so comfortable talking to him. My first actual camping trip was also with Kevin and the whole cell uh, team member and it was very memorable because it was a miserable camping trip. It was raining throughout <laughs> and I've never gone camping in my life and it was soaked wet but it was so much fun because Kevin somehow just have this ability to make people feel comfortable and at ease in any uncomfortable situation. It was really their passion to go outdoors. We started our company with a friend called Amos. The nature of the business was we were running a lot of outdoor uh, hiking trips for tourists to a lot of these local places where the tourists wouldn't be able to find themselves. Most of the time, Kevin takes his clients on weekends. I remember it was a Saturday. Kevin and I were bringing a group of guests out to one of the waterfall tracks. So Kevin brought a few of the adults up to the upper waterfall while I was at the lower waterfall, you know, watching over the... So a few of the other adults that stayed at the lower waterfall as well. I heard that somebody was screaming from the upper waterfall, help, he must come up right now. So that's where I kind of ran up to the waterfall and people up there were saying, Kevin is in the water and we couldn't see him. So that's where I jumped right into the water and I managed to find him and I pulled Kevin out from the water and started CPR on him. One of the adults was having like trouble in the water that like he was a not very good swimmer and Kevin just jumped in and managed to push him out of the water, gave everything he had, pushing the other guy out and after that he just like lost consciousness and sank back into the water. I received this distress call telling me that something really terrible happened and he need me to call Adele. So I picked up the call and Adele answered in a very cheerful tone. It makes it even tougher for me to break that news. She told me and Kevin, uh, there was an incident. He jumped in to rescue uh, one of his clients and he, 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 he went under. On the way to the hospital, um, in the car, I was praying with Jane. I'm like, Lord, please, please spare his life. Please don't, don't take him. I got a message from Amos saying that Kevin has gone back to Jesus. It took me a while to have the courage to show that message to Adele, who was sitting right next to me. Everything crashed. Uh, oh, came crashing out in the car. The thing that I felt I really lost was my best friend. He really was my best friend. Partner to bring up the children, father, um, husband. God, you have to help me. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Kids are so young. How do we even begin to move on from here? First thing I probably felt was like just scared that I would not be able to father them and mother them. I asked God, like, why not me? We should have just taken me instead of Kevin because at the time, I have no kids. So this is uh, one of Kevin's favourite waterfalls, actually. He called it Paradise Falls. And he took this picture. 
This is also where we scattered his ashes. My favourite memory of my father is playing football and joking around with him. I wasn't very sure what happened to him but I knew that I wouldn't see him ever again. So I guess I felt a bit sad that I don't have a father. I remember that I asked my mom before. It was very devastating. But I'm so thankful for my cell members. I call my family. They were just surrounded me. And it wasn't them having to say anything. They just would come, spend a bit of time with the children, uh, and just be there. After I lost my father, I felt like I didn't really have anyone to talk to or to enjoy myself with, but God redeemed it by surrounding me with people and church community that cared about me and felt like I have some extended family. Many times, I struggle with bringing up the kids or thinking like, oh my goodness, I'm a terrible mom, I'm screaming at them. There's always a reassurance from Lord, and it will be either through an article I read or a friend that I speak to, or sometimes even just talking to the kids. And I remember saying to God, like, Lord, you have been so faithful to me. I look back all the years, you've been so faithful to provide, to care for the children, and I want to be faithful to you, you know. And so, yes, I, you know, I do want to be my kinsman redeemer too, you know, and redeem the people who you put around me. I'm just reminded about how each of us we are in that relay race and in that section where you're running, you run your most, your best, you give your all because then you're going to pass on the baton to the next person. And for me as my children, that they are my main ministry, they are my, the main ones that I'm going to pass this baton on to. And God has something great in store for them and I don't know what it is, but all I know is this part of that race that I'm running this relay, I'm going to run my best. If anything, you know, that's what I can see in terms of how God has redeemed my life from that broken vase that was so broken when Kevin passed away and I felt that oh, I, can't, I can't put it all back together. But the Lord has done more than that, more than put me back together, but He has actually made me into this new picture, this new um, whole um, vast again that's able to not just look beautiful and, and whole once again but to be able to even do more. Before Kevin passed away like my identity was very much Kevin's wife. But obviously once he passed away it's like he's gone he's no longer there. Uh, so I think really in that process it was then beginning to see myself as actually you know what I am not a graphic designer, I'm not a mother, but I am a child of God. You know, and yeah, his promise is that he's my father, he's my good father, and he will take me through this. Life.